Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, back again with another unboxing video. And today I'm going to unbox the Mont Blanc Pix. And this is a ballpoint version. There's several types of Mont Blanc that you can get, but this is a ballpoint. Basically what happened, I got tired of cheap ink pens that were uh, that were leaking ink and and just, you know, overall poor quality. And then I'm like, man, I'm spending all that money for these cheap plastic ink pens and then you know it makes makes me look cheap because I'm using a cheap pen and you know and in in, uh, in the world today and not necessarily as much today as it was in the past but you know it's all about the watch it's all about the shoes and the pen is important too you know it's all about presentation being professional being sophisticated so with that being the case I've got the Mont Blanc picks Got it in the gray color. I uh, wanted y'all to see the uh, the color here, and I'm going to hold it closer so you can get some really good detail. Uh, this is coated in platinum. It's not solid platinum. It's just coated in platinum. But this is a uh, this is a smaller pen. If you're looking for something that's not, you know, a lot of Mont Blancs are very uh, very thick. This is just a very slim profile. It's it's pretty lightweight. Now I don't have the uh, ink in it right now so again this is just right out of the box but it's uh, this is the gray color you get several different color options for this uh, actually I stand corrected it does have the ink and it's that light with the ink in it and see this is a uh, again this is the ballpoint pen version this is not the roller ball uh, several different when you're dealing with Mont Blanc several different styles of uh, writing instruments but I like this because it's just a you know it's an upgrade from a from a cheap plastic ballpoint pen this is a high-end ballpoint pen that has replaced obviously replaceable ink so we're gonna pop this out here let's see just unscrew this yeah it's extremely lightweight the cartridge just installed at least out of the factory for this is a it says refill ballpoint pen made in Germany Mont Blanc uh, let's see this is M size M so you know that's important to uh, to notate and then you've got this lower part of the pen here which is it's a cool looking again a cool looking color This just slides back in there. You've got the top part. Again, this just screws in here. Something I like about this pen too, uh, some of the pens, you know, if you're dealing with the uh, with the roller ball or the traditional, what do you call it, the one with the, the gold nib, those types of pens, often with those, you, you know, you've got to obviously, this, you just twist to expose the ballpoint and then twist to close. Those other pens, a lot of them, what you've got to do is, uh, you know, pop the cap off, but often with a lot of uh, pen references, when you pop the cap off, uh, what you'll find is that the cap doesn't fit tightly on the back of the pen. So it's not like you can just write with it with the, with the top on it. That's what I like about this ballpoint is that I can just twist and boom, there comes the, uh, the ink pen and twist it again and it goes away. Uh, right here it says, around this edge here, it says Mont Blanc. Don't know how well you can see it in the video here. Oh, there we go, I got good focus now. Let me see, let me bring it up this way. So if you're like me, you're looking at various pen colors. Again, this is gray. This is the Mont Blanc Gray Pix, P-I-X. And I'm, I can tell you I'm, I'm impressed. Let me see, I'm doing everything in reverse here. There we go. So for something that's, again, a step up, a, a big step up from a cheap plastic disposable pen, but something that is still a ballpoint pen, 
yet is uh, obviously affordable to replace the ink. So now, you know, I've just got a good pen and I don't have to worry about buying those cheap pens and throwing them away. That becomes a problem too because you're throwing away all the cheap pens, you're filling up the landfills, and that's bad for the environment. With this, I'm keeping the pen, I'm just refilling the ink. So, I mean, I don't know, tell me what you think out of the box. I mean, it's got, it comes with a nice box. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep it in its box. I'm gonna keep it in my, in my shirt pocket. But, I mean, it is a nice box, if you like boxes. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not too big into that. I just care about the ink pen. And it comes with a service guide. Um, it says, general information about for your writing instrument. Your writing instrument is manufactured from distinctive materials such as precious resin, metal, wood, mother of pearl, and precious stones. To enjoy your Mont Blanc writing instrument for a long time, please protect it from any breakage or damage and do not expose it to heat or humidity. It says Mont Blanc recommends cleaning your fountain pen approximately every three months to preserve its pristine condition. Especially if the ink is dried up due to lack of use, the feeder system is blocked, a different color of ink is to be used, or the ink flow becomes irregular or stops. Now that particular thing where it's saying uh, the feeder system and all of that, this, this is, uh, I mean, this is just a ballpoint pen. So I don't think that's, uh, it says to avoid leakage, keep the writing instrument fully filled with new ink and carry the fountain pen with the nib pointing upwards. Okay, that's talking about fountain pens. Again, I just went with a, with a um, ballpoint pen. I just want something simple, affordable to refill, but something that's a step up from a uh, from a cheap plastic pen that leaks all over my hands and in my pocket. So I mean that's why I went Mont Blanc. That and again, you know you need uh, you need to be sophisticated, and sophisticated entails the writing instrument. It entails the timepiece. This is not a Mont Blanc timepiece. You know and Mont Blanc makes timepieces now. So you lease Norton. Um, but yeah, it's all about that and the, and the shoes and uh, ultimately just knowing business. Because I mean, you can have an ink pen and you can have a, you know, a nice timepiece and a nice pair of shoes and not know anything about business. So, you know, but if you, if you do know business, I think that, you know, any, any must be politically correct. You can't say businessman anymore because that's deemed sexist. Um, but any business person uh, should have a good pen should have a good a good timepiece and should have uh you know a good pair of shoes at least one good pair of shoes i mean i try to walk around barefoot as much as i can but you know when you're when you're doing business face to face you know it's about the present it's all about the presentation so nice pen again very lightweight actually you know out of the out of the box it was so lightweight i was questioning whether or not it had a uh it had an ink cartridge in it, but it does. And again, this is the ballpoint, meaning that you know most of your pens that you get, the cheap pens, most of those pens you'll find are ballpoints. So I just wanted something that I'm comfortable with using, a ballpoint pen, but you know a, a fancier version of a ballpoint pen that I can refill the ink, and something that hopefully won't leak all over my shirt and my hands and my pants. So. You know, that's, that's why I picked up a Mont Blanc. Uh, why did you, or maybe you haven't picked up a Mont Blanc. You know, maybe you're just researching. And maybe you don't know. I mean, this color, let's see. Let me go over here so we can get in focus. Um, this gray color I think is really good. I think it looks cool. It's not black. Most pens you see are black. I mean, gray is a, gray is a cool color. And again, it's got that platinum, not solid platinum, but platinum, uh, what do you call it? Platinum coated, which probably means it'll probably scratch off, but that doesn't matter. It's just platinum. So, 
yeah, I don't know. Tell me what you think within the comment section below. I just wanted to post this video uh, right out of the box, unboxing the Mont Blanc Pix in gray color. Just wanted to show you what it looks like in case you're uh, looking for fine writing instruments as well. Tell me what you think within the comment section below and be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash guy. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.